Hey everyone, today's gonna be Workshop Wednesday. It seems like a lot of you guys are also turners and um, I thought that you might be interested in seeing some of the things that I do uh, that isn't directly turning but is, is related. Um, I've been wanting to build myself a chainsaw station pretty much since I started turning um, and I came across a video on YouTube from Wood Turner Kai. Uh, I will put the information, uh, the link to that video in the comments and also up in the, um, I'll put a card up in the top corner um, that you can check out his video. He has a complete how to construct this thing, including uh, a materials list in the description. So I'm not gonna go through all of that. Um, you know, this is, this is basically his design, I think, um, and I'm just building it. Um, he seems to be probably close to my height, so I used the measurements exactly as, as he has written in the description. I was hoping to be able to build this thing on the table, but the fold in the middle was not flat, so on the floor I am crawling around. One of the things that I like most about this design is it gives you a place to put the logs to hold them still in a in a V cradle while you're uh, milling them lengthwise. And then it also has a place where you can put a bowl blank or something flat down and clamp it and knock the corners off um, and all of that stuff. One of the things that I have the most trouble with if I'm trying to prepare a bowl blank is holding the piece of wood. Uh, whether that's in in the shop with my little electric chainsaw or out here with my gas one um, that's been probably the most dangerous thing that i do is chainsawing the blanks without really having a good way to secure it so i have a trailer full of butternut that needs to be processed and i decided that it would be prudent to build myself a station so that i can do it with some reasonable sense of safety and um, efficiency The other thing I really like about this design is um, he <laughs> totally overbuilds it, which that's that's my that's my middle name. I overbuild everything, um, but you know it's it's just what I do. I think it took me about an hour and a half to build this from start to finish. I took the materials list into the shop and cut all of the pieces ahead of time and then brought them outside to do the assembling. I 
Had to go get some little helpers. I didn't have too much trouble doing this by myself, but there were a couple of times when an extra pair of hands would have would have been nice. So I have two by fours instead, which serve as holder uppers as well as uh, correct spacing. The bits for the cradle ideally probably should have been a 2 by 10 I didn't have anything laying around except uh, one piece of 2 by 8 that I used on the one side, and then I just used two pieces of 2 by 4 on the other side. Um, they're meant to be replaceable uh, because you hold them in with dowels so that you don't hit screws with your chainsaw. So when I go to replace them, I'll try to get a piece of 2x10 that I can use and that'll make it all one solid piece, but I didn't find that it was any sort of a problem the way that I did it. didn't drill those holes deep enough so I had to flush cut them with the sawzall. Okay, so it's the next day. I've got some sexy orange chaps going on there. This is the some of the butternut that I got from a friend of mine. Trying to figure out where the pith is and where I want to try to cut that. I'm really happy with how this is working out for me. Um, it holds the logs nice and steady. I do need to get a clamp with a deeper throat on it so that 
I can get a little better bite, but it's working out really nice. So I'm not very good at sawing straight. So that's it. I'm going to work on processing this stuff and so I'm going to coat them in anchor seal and stick them on my little drying rack there that's underneath an overhang outside the shop and hope they don't crack. But I'm really happy with the milling station so big thanks to Wood Turner Kai for his excellent video including all of the dimensions and the materials cut list um, which was super easy to follow. So if you guys want to make one of these, go check out his video. So I'll have another project video up in a couple of days, and I'll also be announcing the winner of the travel mug from the last video, which I have a link to up there in the corner. Until then, everybody be safe out there.